short quote that I believe is on your mind and your heart as it is on mine. This is our president, an unstable man, yes. speaking from a New Jersey, his New Jersey golf club, threatening North Korea with, quote, fire, fury, and frankly, power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. My job today is to talk a little bit about why we are here, and I start with that. We are here today to commemorate the, the attack with nuclear weapons on Hiroshima and on Nagasaki, today being Nagasaki Day. We are here to stand with the survivors of that attack. We are here to mourn and commemorate the victims. But we are also here to speak truth to power at this place on this day. We are here to stop the next nuclear war before it starts, my friends. And we are here at this location because we understand if we are going to rid the world of the threat of nuclear war and even the likelihood at some point of nuclear war and the potential annihilation of life, we know the only way to address that threat is the total abolition of nuclear weapons. There are no right hands for wrong weapons. We are here today to take a step toward the global elimination of nuclear weapons. Thank you for being here, my friends. Right now, and I mean now, today, U.S. weaponeers at Livermore Lab are busy designing a new warhead for a new long-range standoff weapon. Let me just say a couple sentences about what is a long-range standoff nuclear weapon. It is intended, intended to be radar evading. It is intended to be able to be launched from thousands of miles from the target. It is intended to be a sneak nuclear attack detonating on an unsuspecting population. And you want to hear in light of what Trump said yesterday, what the Pentagon says, why they want this new weapon? It is to give a future United States president every option to use any kind of a nuclear weapon in a conflict situation. We are here to stop the development of the new warhead for the long-range standoff nuclear weapon. And by the way, these are Mach W80-4, which is the name of the warhead they're designing right now at Livermore. You are here with your presence, with your energy, with your spirit, with your bodies to say no to this. Livermore Lab, right now this year, is spending more than a billion dollars on nuclear weapons activities. That budget is slated to actually go up next year. And if you have a moment and can carry a piece of paper with you, this is Livermore Lab's budget request for next year. I'll just tell you the blue is nuclear weapons activities and the tiny slivers you can see is everything else including non-proliferation, including a tiny sliver for actual science. We're here to change this completely. Thank you for being here today to be part of doing that. One man, one woman, one child, we can all make a difference. And so the Marshallese story really has a lot to offer. Yes, you can learn a lot about the pain and the tragedy and the suffering. More importantly, you can look, learn a lot about where people are putting their priorities 
and that individuals make a difference. Collectively, we can all make a difference. So, yokwe. Yokwe. Imagine a peaceful Manhattan project where, along with the renewables, wherein one actually develops safe and effective and widespread ways to draw down carbon and protect us from that. Oh. That could happen. Anybody here interested in a well-funded single-payer health care system? Yeah. I sure as hell am. And, and so, these are the things we should be spending our money on, not on weapons who can only be used to usher in the last day of civilization. So I stand before you, costumes aside, we're all doctors of destiny now, and what you do today matters, and what you say, it all matters, because we can and we must heal ourselves. Oh. And I thank you. Thank you. The United States has threatened North Korea with nuclear annihilation on at least a dozen occasions. In this time of unprecedented danger, we have to be ruthless, not in our threats, but in our pursuit of truth. Courageous, not with our swords, but in our willingness to confront our own historical denial. We have to recognize that North Korea does not require further U.S. intervention. So the question before us today, it's what does a genuine peace with North Korea mean? Unsurprisingly, few media outlets have reported on North Korea's overtures to the United States. And I'll say that when it comes to North Korea, the media is truly fake news, okay? Um, but these overtures, if pursued, might result in meaningful de-escalation on both sides. And this is to say that there are peaceful alternatives at hand. In the middle part of the 20th century, too many Americans were silent. We cannot and we must not be silent now. But a few of us cannot stop it, cannot stop the arms race, but the American people as a whole can and must do that. And that's what we're demanding. The threats that Trump was making the other day the words and the music was a little different, but the sense is the same, has been the same for 70 years. First use nuclear threats by every president we've had since Harry Truman. And in the last election, uh, we had Trump saying, yes, I wouldn't take it off the table, but he was just echoing what Bush had said before him and Obama and Edwards and all the other, and all the, all the Republicans that all say, not off the table, never off the table. The truth is the American people need to tell this president and Congress and the media, the U.S. has no nuclear first use option on the table. That is not an option. That is a crime against humanity. It is a preparation, a rehearsal for the destruction of life on Earth. There is no first use option. And when it comes to just making the weapons, I'm sure there are people who there today who will see us sitting there or getting arrested, whatever, who are working there and thinking, why? We're, we're, we're doing deterrence here. We're, uh, what's the problem here? You know, we're patriots and so forth. And the answer has to be the same as at Rocky Flats. When they asked me 39 years ago on this day, why are you doing this and that, we said, there shouldn't be business as usual designing weapons plutonium-type weapons of the kind that destroyed Nagasaki and are now triggers on Nagasaki Day without having to arrest Americans to do it. You're going to do it over our bodies on this day, and that's what we're saying today. Thank you for being here. Point out one feature of the gate, 
what you are looking at, those pages, those are the 10 pages of the just adopted Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. 122 states parties at the United Nations on July 7th adopted this treaty. The vote was 122, one abstention, one opposed. And eight not. The majority of the world's countries are saying unequivocally that nuclear weapons are illegal and they are unacceptable. We have delivered this treaty to the gates and we invite you to either give legal witness or to risk arrest symbolically for the goals of that treaty, the complete abolition of nuclear weapons. Let me turn this over to Cheesy. Konnichiwa. Uh, we want to uh, dance bone dance. The bone dance is uh, uh, we think that the ancestor the spirit come down to the earth and then we have good time together and then they go back to heaven. This time we will invite and we want Hiroshima Nagasaki those victims come down here with us and let's have a little good time. <laughs> So, I want to bring us back in time to August 9th, 1945. You're going about your day. You're hugging a loved one. You're talking to your children. You're making love to your spouse or significant other. And it drops. One, two, three. I'll let you meditatively think about it. And then I'm going to do the siren. And those who choose may lay down in the road and people will chalk you. And if you don't want to lay down in the road and want to help chalk people, you can do that. As I said, this is in recognition and remembrance. You've seen the pictures that after the bomb dropped, it vaporized people and left shadows. And the chalk is the shadow. At some point, I'll say this again, at some point, the laboratory will come out and ask and read the code and ask people to disperse. That is the point where you can make a choice whether you want to risk arrest or whether you want to come to the, the side here to the curb. So it is absolutely and positively part of the legal witness to do the die-in. So I'm going to give you a moment to think, to imagine yourself there.
Court and a peace officer in the state of California. I hereby inform you that you are in violation of state and city laws and that this is an unlawful assemblage. In the name of the people of the state of California, I order you to disperse it immediately. Failure to disperse will mean you are subject to arrest. Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for redress of grievances. We are grieving. Yeah.